Both teams neck and neck as we begin the second quarter. Here's Thornton. Ten points for him. You see the back of his basketball card. You see the Billups bounced around a lot early in his career. Yeah, it took a little while for him to gain traction. Drafted third back in 97 by the Celtics, then traded to the Raptors, then the Nuggets, the Magic, the Timberwolves. I think all of that moving around, a lot of people were ready to write him off, but he got himself grounded and proved to be a champion and a winner. So with Anthony sitting on the bench, Here's the group that George Carl has on the floor. Rackins scooped up. Okafer backs in. Thornton with it. Jump off pass. And here is Pondexter. Puts up the tray. Okafer is tagged with the loose ball foul. That's foul number two for him. Second person. The Nuggets trail by three. Here is Bolton. Stolen. Here's Thornton. And the bucket is good. Laid up and in from the assist. He's got 12. Good job of leading his man right to the rim for the bucket. Now Bolton. From 17 feet out, again the Nuggets score. Here's Thornton. It's a three-point game. Covered by Smith. Now Pondexter. Outside Stojakovic. Shot's good. Come on now, you got to pay better attention than that on a shooter like him. He'll make that 10 times out of 10. And here's Lawson. No points for him. Harrington with it. With the shot. No good from Lawson. Hard-nosed battle in the trenches. Defense wins out. Here's Pondexter. And he can't manage to get up a decent shot on the foul. Two free throws coming up. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. First free throw is good. Hornets fell off a bit last season, but they were still a tough team at home. Well, 24 wins at their arena, Kevin. Down from the year before, but not by much. Here's Lawson. Smith, left side. Here's Harrington. And while we can, here's a look at the teams that had the fastest hands in the league last season. You look at them. Well, you talk about teams that had a great defense last year. You got to mention these guys. I mean, they were great at finding ways to come up with the ball. Deflections, loose balls, and steals. Here's Okafor. No good. Now Denver takes it the other way. So to follow up Clark on what you just touched on, how do the Hornets turn it around this year? Well, I think it always starts with being healthy, Kevin, and that's for any team. But I also think in the case of the Bobcats, they need some help on the wings. But first and foremost, it's simply a game of good health for them. And the first one drops. In his seventh season, drafted straight out of high school, 6'6", J.R. Smith. Clark, wouldn't you say last season was a bit of a disappointment for him? Well, it certainly was a little subpar based on what he had shown in the prior season, Kevin. His shooting percentages dropped across the board. Um, his focus didn't seem to be there as consistently. And he didn't really have the impact in the playoffs that you thought he might or should have had. Um, and you can't discount that George Carl not being there not just for J.R. Smith, but for that whole team, may have had something to do with how the Nuggets floundered a little bit um, late in the season and, and in the playoffs. With a switch, the Hornets. Here's Thornton. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Dismissed. The Nuggets trail by three. To the inside. Here is Lawson. He's guarded by Thornton. Ty Lawson slipped to 18 in last year's draft due to concerns about his size and his often sprained ankle. But what a steal for Denver. Boy, you're exactly right there, Kevin. I mean, after his dominant play in leading Carolina to a championship, 
It's hard to believe that he fell through the cracks, but he's proven to be a terrific point guard prospect. Catching up on the changes for Denver. Nene, he's checked in for Anderson. Martin comes in for Al Harrington. And Carmelo Anthony is subbed in for Ronaldo Balkman. Here's Thornton. Rackins. Nene pulls it in. And back on Lawson, people in Denver just rave about him. The coaches talk about how his defense is way ahead of the curve for a player of his experience. Yeah, and you combine that with the speed, Kevin. I mean, with the ball, I don't know if there's a faster guy in the NBA than uh, Ty Lawson. Got a piece of it. To the middle. Here's Stojakovic. Buries the short-range shot. He has five. Beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. Outside Anthony. Backing down is Martin. Goes up. The shot by Nene. No good. Well, it's clear they've got the advantage on the boards in this one, Kevin. Here's Thornton. And laying it in as that one falls through. And the Hornets lead by five. Lawson dishes to Anthony. Takes it up. And there's the dunk. Here's Thornton. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Well, Kevin, as you know, the philosophy of Denver Nuggets head coach George Carl is emphasizing a lot of free throws and points in the paint. He says the free throw is the second best shot in basketball. First is the layup. So, guys, last season, the Nuggets did him proud. They were tops in the league in free throws made and fourth in shots at the rim. Sounds like a winning combination, guys. All right, thank you, Doris. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Here's Thornton. 14 points for him. On Dexter with it. Fires the three. Thornton no good. What a game he's had on the boards. He absolutely will not be denied inside. And there's the two-handed jam. Does he make it look easy or what, partner? Trust me, that's not easy. Oh, I know it. I think he could climb over the backboard if he wanted to. Lawson kicks to Nene. And here's Anthony from the arc. Good. Anthony's got 17. They don't seem to have many answers for him in this game. He's doing a terrific job out there. Outstanding work. Here's Thornton. Lawson defending. Beyond the arc. Kept alive. Here's Gray. And good. They convert him a second chance. And the Hornets lead by two. You can't allow him to establish deep position like that. Once he gets it in that close, he's almost unstoppable. Denver calls timeout. Hens will make substitutions. Here's Billups. Right around six minutes left in the second. And here's Anthony from the arc. Thornton gets the board inside. And here are the Hornets. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Off target from downtown. I don't understand. Kevin, the three hasn't been kind to him here in the first half, but he still continues to fire away. Backing down is Nene. Leads him with the pass. Tipped. Second shot opportunity. Blocked again. New Orleans in the lead. Now here's Paul. And here's Horton outside. It's Chauncey Billups with the rebound. Kevin, I'll tell you, his three-point shot has looked awful here in the second half. He's trying to shoot his way out of his slump, but he needs to give it a rest and try something else. Now here's Anthony. Go, 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 go. 
Just five on the clock. Here's Nene. Had a piece of it. Here are the Hornets with the ball. Here's West. Good, and Paul gets the assist. West has got his third basket of the night. The Nuggets trail by four. Phillips passes to Harrington. And that one's in from the low post. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. Here's Paul. Here's West. From deep, Horton scooped up. West. And that's floated right up and in. West has got eight. You know, that's a good job of getting the ball down low like that. I mean, those are hard to stop from that range. Anthony for three. Thornton snatches it inside. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Takes the three. Rebound by Anthony. He hasn't been able to contribute as well as he wanted to. But in spite of that, they still have the lead, and that's a good sign. Seeing Denver in action, they had a losing record on the road, though, Clark. 19 and 22 last year. Oh! oh man! Oh, man! He's shooting 20% from downtown. Boy, they're getting vertical on us, Kevin. Look out below. Now that's a couple of guys on the same page. Working together. Time called here. The Hornets decide to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Bellinelli. He's guarded by Billups. Gray sets a pick. Here's Ariza. And the Hornets miss again. The Nuggets trail. Open look. And again, it's Denver. Here's Paul. 2.29 left in the second. Outside, Bellinelli can't get it to go. Now Denver takes it the other way. Now a flower. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. A fadeaway. Kept alive. Goes back up. What? Boy, they've really been scrapping for rebounds in this one. Neither club really dominating the other one. Ariza kicks to Paul. West outside. The tray. The shot by Bellinelli. No good. And so here is Denver. Here's Anthony. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. Marco Bellinelli picks the ball. Carmelo Anthony, now a three-time All-Star. He's entering the prime of his career. And, Kevin, he's one of the league's premier scorers. I mean, he can do it inside and outside, and he's become the face of that Nuggets franchise. So he comes up empty, missing both. The game still tied. A couple of missed shots on both sides. Paul kicks it to West. From deep. The shot by Bellinelli. No good. Clark, you touched on this when talking about Melo. How can this Denver team get over the hump and finally make a finals appearance? Well, they've got to stay healthy. We talk about that all the time. They need more depth up front, consistency from their role players, and Carmelo Anthony has to simply do what he's been doing. Here are the top distributors from last season. These guys always seem to find the open man. Here's Bellinelli. Here's West. Sinks it from about nine feet out. West has got ten points in the game. He was really a non-factor in that first quarter. But he's found a way to step it up here. Here's a follow. And here is Harrington. The dump off. Behind the arc. 
A follow, no good. It's a close game here in New Orleans. Back the ball. Now Bellinella jacks up a three. Al Harrington grabs the board. His shot selection has been pedestrian at best. He's putting up a lot of junk, Kevin. Anthony, the pass to Harrington. Phillips up top from about 19 feet. Phillips can't get that one to fall. You got to expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Here's Bellinelli. Here's Ariza. Rebound, Billups. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. And the first half is now in the books. Hornets lead by two. Welcome, everyone, to this early season edition of HP at the Half. Plenty of hustle from the Hornets. They haven't set the tone that they were hoping for in the early going this season. Marcus Thornton with some valuable contributions. He's got 16 points, been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well, gotten the job done on the glass, too. Meanwhile, the Nuggets not to be outdone. A fluid attack making these extra passes really opens up an offense. Carmelo Anthony locked in so far. He's racked up 19 points and has also been able to collect six rebounds as well. We've seen these two lead their way for their teams in scoring tonight. We'll see what they've got in store in the third quarter. Thanks so much for tuning in. Now let's get you back out to the start of the third quarter. I'm Damon Bruce. So long, everyone.